Hello and welcome to this week's Force.comcast episode where we're going to have a look at what makes up a lightning component and a lightning application and we're going to make a very basic first lightning app with one lightning component in it. So in order to enable lightning components within your organization, which is the first thing we need to do before we can build them, uh, you need to go into the setup menu and then go down to develop and then lightning components and it will bring up a page similar to this and you need to check the enable lightning components checkbox and hit save. Once you've done that, Lightning Components will be enabled within your org and you can open up the Developer Console and start creating them. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new Lightning Component by going File, New, Lightning Component and we're going to create a Lightning Component which is just called Test Lightning Component, nothing too complicated as it's just a dummy and we're just going through it. And when we submit this, it'll go away and create the component for us. Now, first thing you'll notice is it opens up this component or .cmp file. And this CMP file is the component markup. So this is the component file. You can see here on the right-hand side, there's a number of different files that make up the component bundle. So there is a controller, which is a JavaScript client-side controller. There is a helper, which is a series of JavaScript helper methods you can put in that the controller and also the renderer can use. There is the style file, which we'll have a look at in a minute, and is for some CSS. There's the documentation file, which allows you to document how your components should be used if you want to sell it on an app exchange. There is the renderer, which I have previously mentioned. So that's if you want to override the way in which the default renderer works so that you're using a custom rendering system. And then there is the design file, which is what you want to use if you're putting it on um, a Lightning app builder page, and an SVG for an icon. So you'll notice that only the component file has been created for us um, and any of the others we can create as we want to. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some code in this component file. So I'm going to add a header. And then I'm probably also going to add a paragraph. Okay, so there's a very basic set of markup in there. And you'll see this is just standard HTML markup and I've added a couple of classes. So why don't I go in now and add a style? Um, and you can see I'm just saving this by hitting Command and S on my Mac keyboard. And if I double click on the style here, oop, it's created a new file for me. There's the duplication there because I was playing around with this earlier. So if we define this dot header, now everything in this namespace has the this prefix. Uh, so I'm going to find the color for this to be red, which is like that. And um, I can also do the paragraph if I wanted to, to be dot this. And let's make that blue. So just basic standard CSS. So that works fine, um, and we've built a very basic component, but it needs to be within an application for it to be rendered. So if I go to create another new item and create a new Lightning application, and we'll just change that to be app, and we'll save that. And now you'll see here it's populated, um, just created this app bundle for us. Um, it's open this app file, which is similar to a markup file that we had a minute ago for the component one. And also down this side, we have a controller, a helper, a style, a documentation renderer, and SVG file. They all follow the same format and are for the same things that we spoke about just a moment ago when we were looking at the component files. So let's add our component in here. Now, in before winter, uh, before spring 15, sorry, you had to have a namespace in your uh, org for you to be able to build components. That was removed with Spring 15, so we can just use the standard C namespace now. Um, and all we do is we add in our component as such. And we save. And then we can now hit the preview button. This will open up a new tab for us, 
And as you can see, we have a nice header and some nice text in green. So that's been a very, very basic lightning app, and that's how you can create a simple lightning app and what an app and a bundle are containing. So this set of files here is called the app bundle, and the set of files for the component is called the component bundle. So when we refer to those two different things, um, they're what make up a lightning component and a lightning application. So you don't need to use any of the others. Um, if you wanted a, a static uh, component, a static app like we've got here, you would just have the component and the app file. In next week's video, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new application and we're going to put multiple uh, components on there. We're going to start building a series of different components, call out to different APIs, retrieve some data from Salesforce, and also use subcomponents and events to communicate with each other. So I hope you look forward to that next week.